They say that love always finds a way. Love, love is the one thing that every single human desires. Well, I can tell you right now, love is cruel. Love will tear you from limb to limb. Don't believe me? Well, you must be a fool. Sometimes all you need is a drink to calm your nerves and ease your sorrows. In my case, I needed a few. Captain Hightower put me on the traffic desk because of a few dead bodies and a few unhappy families. All the better for me. Well, well. What's your name, baby? Wouldn't you like to know? Care to tell me over a drink? Only if you buy me one, officer. How'd you know I'm an officer? Well, I saw your car outside, and by the way you carry yourself with such authority, I knew that you were a man of the law. Have somewhere to be, officer? No, ma'am. I only got an hour for lunch, and the name's Lieutenant Thompson, but you can call me David. How long have you been on the force? Ooh, ten years if it's been a day. Say, what's a lovely lady like yourself doing in these pots? Oh, just out shopping. But you don't have any bags. I'm sorry, I need to get going now. Wait a minute. You're just gonna leave without telling me your name? Or giving me your telephone number? The name's Eva Hayes. And you can call me anytime, officer. Attention all units, we have a 187 at the Twin Pines Mall. Any available units, please respond. Great. A 187 at the Twin Pines Mall. Homicide. Some unlucky fellow found himself on the wrong end of a knife. We know how and when he died. As for who killed him and why? That's as much of a mystery to me as anyone else. Yes. He's a paper for the Twin Pine murder. That's... Do we have any witness statements yet? One woman came forward, a Mrs. Underhill. She said she saw someone in a trench coat leaving the scene. That's great, but what does that have to do with me? I'm not even a detective. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm promoting you to detective. Really? Well, thank you, sir. You, you won't regret this. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> Here's to our first date. So, tell me how long you lived in Sarasota. Born and raised. My pop died in the war and my poor mother had to raise me all by herself. What about you? Born in LA, then you moved here. LA, huh? I know a lot of pretty women from LA. I guess that makes you one of them. Say, this is a pretty nice house. What's a lady like yourself doing living here all by yourself? That's a shame, isn't it? Would you like to tour the house, David? Can we start with the bedroom, baby? Mm Detective Thompson's desk. Another one? Where at? 
Are you sure? Ava! Ava, Ava! Now, now, what's the meaning of this? I murdered my husband for the insurance money. You murdered your husband? Shh, not so loud. Ava. David, I... I did this for us. I'm... I'm in love with you, David. This goes against everything I stand for. But... I love you, too. So will you run away with me, David? Baby, I'd do anything for you. It's safe. See you Trouble news. Tell me, officer, is there any good news, too? I'm afraid not. I found no word of it. And the late Mr. Hayes was shot twice in the stomach and once in the back. Oh, how awful. Sir, doesn't this watch look familiar? Detective Thompson? Thanks, Officer Carmer. May I have to stay here? Lieutenant Thompson, you're under the arrest for the murder of Jacob Hayes. But, but I didn't kill him. David, David, are you all right? I am fine. Oh my God, you killed him. Detective Thompson, we have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up or we'll shoot you where you stand. David. What are we gonna do, baby? I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, Ava. Oh, thank God, you're here! He was holding me hostage! <sighs> now you see that love can drive a man to do things he doesn't want to do. But love has its good side. Its instant gratification gives everyone a chance to be happy. But at what cost? Tomorrow you'll hear about the murder of a husband and a police officer. But will you hear about the suspect that was driven mad to the point where he would end his life? I'll never know. This is Lieutenant Thompson, signing off.